Praise the Lord. Our Lord and our God, we give you all the glory. Papa, there is none like unto you. That is why we are so thankful every time. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? It is better to experience the Holy Spirit each and every day. So do not get tired of being with the Lord because He transforms us each and every time. He fills us and He guides us through His Word. So I invite you today also to join me even as we study under the feet of Jesus. The Holy Spirit, our teacher, is ready to teach us. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, we'll take our devotional reading from Galatians chapter 6, the verses 1 to 10. We pray that the Holy Spirit will speak to us even as we will read through the word of God. Hallelujah. The heading says, we harvest what we plant. Galatians 6, 1 to 10. Dear brothers and sisters, if another believer is overcome by some sin, you who are godly should gently and humbly help that person back onto the right path. And be careful not to fall into the same temptation yourself. Share each other's burdens and in this way obey the law of Christ. If you think you are too important to help someone, you are only fooling yourself, for you are not that important. In fact, everything about life is in the word of God, my brother, my sister. I read from verse 1 to 3, and it is like the Holy Spirit is speaking to me, and I believe the Holy Spirit is speaking to you as well. Let's continue from verse 4. Pay careful attention to your own work, for then you will get the satisfaction of a job well done. And you won't need to compare yourself with anyone else, for we are each responsible for our own conduct. Those who are taught the word of God should provide for their teachers, sharing all good things with them. And this is a verse that, in fact, people are misusing. Ministers of the word are misusing, and those who are also understanding them are misusing this verse. Because we see here that it isn't only money that we can share with our teachers. We can share our experiences. We can share our wealth. We can share. We can even advise our teachers. At times, it happens that way. That you told me the other time that I should go this way. But it seems you are gradually doing the same thing that you told me not to do. In a, in a very nice way, when we ask the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will give us a nice way of, of um, sharing with our teachers whatever we have. Hallelujah. And so we pray that teachers will also be humble enough to understand this verse. We need the Holy Spirit to, to explain it to us vividly, individually. Verse 7 says, verse 7 to 10, don't be misled. You cannot mock the justice of God. You will always harvest what you plant. Those who live only to satisfy their own sinful nature will harvest decay and death from that sinful nature. But those who live in, who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone, especially to those in the family of faith. This is a good one. Brethren in the Lord, it is speaking to us. The word of God is speaking to us. The, the way we should live our lives as Christians and it says, we harvest what we sow. What have you sown? What have you sown that you are expecting harvest? We need to sow good seeds. We need to, to, to live our lives according to the word of God. So that in the end, we'll receive good harvest. 
we will receive good harvest. Many people claim, many people confess, many people say, I receive years, but what have you planted that you have to receive from? May the Lord help us to sow good seeds, even as we draw souls into the kingdom of God. As we wait for the coming of the Lord, let us do the work of an evangelist. Share the word and remain blessed in Jesus. Have a fruitful day with me tomorrow too. Bye-bye.